Welcome to our Capture 2019 tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to take a look at snapshots, renders and presentations. Snapshots live in the Snapshot tabs in Capture. Here you can see a list of all the snapshots in the project file. You can play back any snapshot by hitting the play button, switch directly between snapshots and stop playback at any time by hitting the stop button. You record the snapshots using the record button at the bottom here, where you can choose between recording still and movie snapshots. When you record a snapshot, the current state on the stage is recorded in the snapshot. Once snapshots are recorded, you can tell still snapshots from movie snapshots by the fact that movie snapshots have a seconds indication to tell how long the snapshot is. In this case, it's a snapshot that's 41 seconds long. Once playback of the snapshot has reached the end, it restarts again from the beginning. Sometimes you want to go on working on a stage state based on a specific snapshot. You can do this by selecting a snapshot, clicking the more button and selecting recall DMX. I can now continue working on the look on stage. Sometimes you want to make a render to send an image to someone else or to save for later use. The easiest way to save a render of a view is to click the menu and select save image. Give the file a name, press save. Now you get the choice of rendering quality settings as well as the resolution of the image. I'll settle for the defaults and save the image to my desktop. Here is my rendered image. You can also render movie snapshots into video files, mp4 files. This is done by selecting the snapshot you wish to render, pressing more and choosing render movie. Again, you need to give a file name, press save, now you have a few more options to the resolution of the movie as well as the bitrate. I'm going to select the lower resolution so that I don't keep you waiting while I render. You can track the progress of the rendering by the percentage sign at the bottom of the rendering dialog. If for any reason you choose to interrupt the rendering midway, the progress made so far will still be inside that movie file so you can take a look at it. Let's do that. So the rendered movie now doesn't make it particularly far, but you can see the result. Finally, I want to show you the presentations feature of Capture. This is a unique feature that is different from saving an image or rendering a movie file. Presentations are created from the file menu by choosing export presentation. Let's give the presentation a name, presentation one, and save it to the desktop. The easiest way to explain what the presentation is, is by showing it to you. Let's quit capture and launch the presentation. Presentations are actual project files that can be run on a computer without having Capture installed and they contain your design. The reason this is different from a rendered image or a movie file is that the presentation is fully interactive and contains the snapshots so that you can switch between them. You may have noticed the Windows Firewall dialog appearing when I launched the presentation. The reason for that is that the presentations can even be hooked up to external DMX sources to, and provide live visualization of the design in the presentation file. This is a very useful setup in scenarios such as festivals where you might want to send the stage design and the lights to the LDs of the band so they can prepare their show. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.